micro oven simulator project will be using pixim lab x8 compilers in the mp lab xid so we'll be implementing four modes of cooking so what it is first mode is the micro mode second mode is the grill mode third is the convection mode fourth is the start mode so these four modes will be using in our microwave oven project now let's go on to the micro mode so what is this micro mode so initially we will be displaying a power on screen the screen will be looking like this and it enters into the cooking mode display so this screen is called as the cooking mode display screen so if user press key 1 in the matrix keypad from the cooking mode display screen the micro mode will be activated so after pressing this key 1 the power information of 900 watts the maximum power equal to 900 watts this screen will be displayed in the CLCD so first the powering on screen will be appearing then the cooking mode display screen where we will select 1 in the matrix keypad to activate the micro mode a power equal to 900 watts the maximum power will be displayed in the CLCD next the set time screen appears so what do we do in the set time screen so we enter the number of minutes and seconds to be run in this micro mode so this is the micro mode we have to uh, mention those minutes and seconds in it and if we plus star it means to clear those particular seconds and values if we press hash it enters to the next process so what is that next process is the time display screen so whatever values we set here it decreases decrements the timer values as soon as we press this hash key it will go on to the time display screen and the fan which is present in the board is turned on the fan is turned on which indicates that the microwave oven is running so as i have said the timer will be running in a decremented value till second b0 till it becomes zero it will be running after that uh, after that the buzzer will turn on for three seconds and a time up message will be alerted to the user so this is the implementation of micro mode so in the time display screen the key 5 is used to pause the timer the present timer can pause using the key 5 and stop if the user press the key 6 which is the stop option it will return back to the cooking mode display screen so this is the operation of micro mode now let's move on to the grill mode so initially powering on will happen and the option for grill mode is number 2 so if the user press key number 2 the grill mode will be activated so after this it will go on to the set time screen the power equal to 900 watts will be displayed only in the micro mode so after this it will go on to the set time screen where the user is prompted to enter the number of minutes and seconds for the microwave to run in the grill mode so after entering it the same process starts if we press hash the time display screen will be appearing the timer in the time display screen will be decremented to zero once it is over it will be indicating a time up alert to the user by turning on the buzzer for three seconds and the buzzer will be turned off so after that it will return to the cooking mode display screen the key file in the time display screen indicates a pause option where the timer stops when we press the key 5 the key 4 resumes the paused operation and the key 6 is used to stop the uh, current operation and return to the cooking mode display screen this is the time message which will be displayed after the time is over now let's move on to the convection mode so initially powering on screen will be appearing if we start for the first time and then it will re return to the this cooking mode display screen so if we press option 3 then it will activate the convection mode so what is this convection mode so we have to 
press key 3 to activate the convection mode after that it will be in the set temperature screen so in this convection mode the user needs to set a temperature value so that it can be preheated to that particular value hence the set temperature screen allows the user to set the temperature for preheating in convection mode the oven is preheated for 3 minutes that is 180 seconds after we press the hash if we press enter a value and we press the hash key it will go into the preheating screen where the timer runs for 180 seconds that means 3 minutes so the for 3 minutes it is preheated to the value of 214 now it uh, after it is preheated it returns back to the set time screen so how much duration do you want the microwave oven to run in the preheated temperature so those screen will be appearing we'll set the time as usual and if you want to clear it you can clear it or else you can press hash and press the hash key which means enter into the next process the next screen will be the time display screen where the timer reduces it is the same operation which we have seen earlier at last if the timer becomes zero the time up screen will be displayed to the user with the buzzer on for 3 seconds now let's move on to the start mode so initially the powering on screen will be displayed and the cooking mode display screen will be appearing to enter into the start mode we need to press the key number 4 so the user presses key number 4 it, it the start mode will be activated next the time display screen will be occurring but in this we will be having a default of 30 seconds as the time and the fan is turned on the timer will be running in a decremented value till 0 0 and after the buzzer is on for 3 seconds indicating a time up alert is also shown to the user the key fine in the time display screen is used to pause the timer the fan is also turned off if we press the key number 5 and the, if the special operation performed in the start mode is so the key 4 will resume the timer operation and the fan is turned on so the uniqueness of the start mode is whenever a user presses the key 4 in the time display screen when the timer is running say 29 28 the current value is incremented with 30 seconds of the previous value say for example if we have a value of 20 seconds if we press the key 4 when the timer is running we'll have the value of 50 seconds that is 20 seconds plus 30 seconds so incrementing value with 30 seconds as a default so it has this type of operation and key 6 is the normal operation stop if we press this key 6 it will go into the my cooking it will go into the cooking display screen now there is an rb3 key present it indicates the user that the microwave door is open it will turn on the buzzer and a message will be displayed on the clcd to alert the user so this is the message door status open please close close so as long as we press the rb3 key it means that the door is open and the alert message tells us to please close the door it will be available in all those time display screen in all the modes it will be available in the start mode in the convection mode in the micro mode and the grill mode in the time display screen when the timer runs so hence we have implemented all the four modes so this is the mp lab xid start page it was founded by microchip and we are going to do the coding for microwave oven simulator so these are the sections under it in the header files i have declared uh, clcd.h main.h matrix keypad header files and timers header files in it and the source file we have the main.c 
function isr.c clcd.c matrixkpack.c and timers.c so let's go on to the main.c this is the code which was written uh, for the micro oven simulator in this code we are calling all the other uh, .c files into uh, this main.c example timers matrixkpack.c file is called into the main.c file so inside this main we have defined all those macros from the header files such as clcd.h header file it has many macros in it we have defined there and we have called it to the main file so as matrix keypad.h timers.h we have defined in for example in matrix keypad we have defined row1 as rd3 row2 as rd2 and so on so define we have defined even high as 1 and low as 0 for user uh, understandment now let's move on to the main.c file so after those declaration we have called all the and defined all the functions related to our four different types of mode so we are just calling all the mode first we are calling the cooking mode display where we are calling the cooking mode display function micro mode we are calling and grill mode, convection mode, everything we are displaying in the output. So to start with, we are going with the power on screen where we indicate microwave powering on microwave oven and we then move on to the micro cooking uh, mode the displays like example, micro grill convection start. We are setting the time uh, for those operations and the set time function is also uh, we have declared and we do even check for door status even if the door is opened or not we do check for it so we are defining that to time display screen where the timer is decrementing in the output so those functions are also defined in here and set temperature screen so we are using the set temperature function in the set temperature screen in the convection mode so for that uh, we are said uh, this is the function related to the set temperature we are defining this much functions and now let's move on to the clcd.c file it gives the initializations of all the clcd peripherals uh, put character how to print a character in the clcd clcd print gives the how to print the string in the clcd and display how to display the CLCD so everything uh, the, in this the initialization is done so isr.c file is also being done which uh, generates an interrupt for the timer to run and the matrix keypad initialization such that such that uh, if column 1 is equal to equal to low return 1 1 will be returned if k2 is press k2 will be returned and so on so matrix keypad initialization is also being done here and timers.c timers.c file in this file we are using the timer2 for our operation so timer2 initialization is also being done here so all together we are calling it in the main function which gives a final microwave oven simulator project so hence this is all about MPLAB XID and if I build it build is successful time taken is 207 milliseconds and we need that hex file to be loaded into the board so for that hex file uh, the path is microwave oven simulator dot x distant default production microwave oven simulator dot x so this is the hex file we are going to we are going to be needed for the final project hence the code is built successfully and hence this is the code for our microwave oven simulator project as you can see this is the fixing lab uh, board right here pick genius board so in this board you can see all the seven segment displays are available all those tactile switches which we have uh, seen in those ppt's are available matrix keypad switches and uh, you can even see the fan right here the leds are also the led arrays are also available from d0 to d7 the leds are connected to port d and as well as to port b 
so you can see these switches over here it is used to uh, if you shift this uh, switch to this side you will get those early lcd display uh, screen so switch to the other side it will turn to off now we'll switch to this uh, uh, lcd uh, lcd screen because we need those lcd to be written in the program now uh, let's load our hex file which we have obtained from the xca compiler now the hex file is loaded as you can see the first screen is the power on screen microwave oven it will be displayed and you will go into the cooking mode display so this is the cooking mode display screen and in this screen we have the four modes of cooking like micro mode grill mode convection mode and the start mode so now let's press the key one let's go on to the micro mode so the power equal to 900 watts those screen will be dis uh, displayed as uh, as we saw in those ppt and now the set time screen will appear so this is the screen where we need to set time uh, minutes and seconds now let's set those uh, minutes so i will uh, set 32 seconds and 1 minute time for the micro mode to appear now i'll press if you want to clear those values you can clear by pressing star so you can see uh, the before it was 1 minute now it has become 0 minute and 32 seconds so i will uh, clear those 32 seconds for now we'll put 20 seconds to check the output now I will press, I have set the time uh, in the micro mode. Now I will press the hash key to enter into the time display screen. So this is the time display screen. You can see those timer is decrementing to 15, 14, 13. It is decrementing. If you want to pause those operation, you can pause by pressing the fifth key in the matrix keypad. So it is written here. Fifth is pause and six means stop. Four means resume. If I press four, it resumes the fan is operating if you press 5 it is stopped the fan is also stopped now if i press 6 it will go into the cooking mode display so i will again select 1 the power equal to 900 watts it will be displayed now let me set the time as 10 seconds and i will press enter if i press this rb3 key you can see the door status is equal to open please close the door there will be a warning for the user the time is being paused i am now resuming the time let it finish so once the timer uh, becomes zero it will display a time up alert to the user by turning on the buzzer and then it will go to the cooking mode display screen so this is the overall view for micro mode now let's move on to the grill mode so for accessing the grill mode the matrix keypad number is 2 so let's press the 2 in the matrix keypad and it will again immediately display the set time screen the difference between micro mode and the grill mode is after key 1 of the micro mode is pressed it displays power equal to 900 watt screen to the user but in this we don't have such future so it displays now the set time screen where we need to set the minutes and seconds for the grill mode to be running now let's select the 30 seconds and if i press hash it means enter into the next process and the time display screen appears where the timer is running in a decremented fashion so if i want to pause those operation i can press 5 to pause if i want to resume i can press 4 if i want to stop and go to the cooking mode display i can press 6 so it's again going to the cooking mode display so now i'll press 2 again set time screen appears i will set 30 seconds as the value and i'll press enter the timer starts decrementing till it reaches to zero seconds now if i press this rb3 key 
cars long as i have pressing this rb3 key it alerts the users user as door status equal to open please close the door so it is running so the fan is also running if i pause the operation the fan will also stop now let me resume the time for the grill mode to complete Ten seconds more. A time up message is alerted to the user that the grill mode is over. So it again goes to the cooking display screen. So this is the process of the grill mode present here. that's all about the grill mode so now let's move on to the convection mode to access the convection mode we need to press key 3 in the matrix keypad now i'm pressing the key 3 as soon as i press the key 3 it moves on to the set temperature screen so we need to set the temperature for the microwave oven to be preheated so let's select 214 as the temperature to be preheated and i have specified the temperature if you want to clear those values you can clear and you can assign a new value to it now i am displaying it as 215 and i am pressing enter the preheating screen appears and the timer reduces from 180 seconds that means 3 minutes so we need 3 minutes to be preheated to 215 degrees celsius now let's wait for the microwave oven to be preheated to that particular temperature value we can also change this value in the mplab xid using the xe8 compiler it will keep on decrementing till it reaches 0 seconds Once the microwave oven has to be heated till 215 degrees Celsius, we need to preheat the oven for a few minutes. Hence, we are giving a uh, setting a time three minutes for preheating. Ten seconds to go. as soon as the preheating completes now the microwave oven is set to 215 degrees celsius we need to set the time to be running for that particular temperature i'll press 20 seconds for now and i'll press enter so the same time display screen will appear where the timer is decrementing and the fan is running now it is running at a 215 degrees celsius Now, if I want to pause, I will pause, and if I want to start, I will start again. If I want to stop, you can press the six. If the door is open right now, if the door is open, we will get the alert message. Now, let's resume the operation again. Now, after the convection mode is over time up alert will be given to the user and it will again go to the cooking mode display screen so that's all about the convection mode of cooking now let's see the start mode implementation to go into the start mode we need to press the key number 4 for it so we are in the start mode option the time display screen runs from default 30 seconds if you want to increase the value in the start mode we can do so by pressing the key number 4 so we we are incremented the va uh, current value into by 30 seconds to the last value if you want to still increment by 30 seconds you can do so by pressing the key number 4 and the other operations are same like five for pause 
and 6 for stop and 4 for resume. The door is open. Door status will be open and please close the door will be the message which will be alerted to the user. So now let's wait for the time to end. Hence the start mode has ended and it has gone to the cooking mode display screen. Thus we have implemented all those four modes and we have seen what is present in all those four modes. Thus this is the whole project of microwave oven simulator. Now to summarize all the points, the project consists of PIC 16F877A microcontroller. We will be using it in PIC sim lab simulator on the PIC Genius board. So X8 compiler is used for writing code and creating the hex file. MP lab XID is also used here. The peripherals used are CLCD tactile switches, combination of tactile switches, matrix keypad, timers, LEDs, fans, buzzer we will be using in this project presentation. Interrupts are also used where it is used in timer operations as well and implementation of all the four modes like micro mode, grill mode, convection and start mode. So this is the summary of the project. Thank you all.